In this video, I'm gonna be comparing the DJI Mavic Air 2 versus the all new Air 2S in a low light battle that should be epic. I don't know about you, but I can't wait to see what the new one inch sensor on the Air 2S can do tonight. A couple of days ago, the new FAA guidelines went into effect, which states that you no longer need the night waiver to fly after dark, which is perfect timing because I've been wanting to do some low light tests with the all new Air 2S to see how the new one inch sensor holds up against its predecessor, the Mavic Air 2. There's also a new waiver you're gonna have to have on you when doing night operations. It's free and I'll leave a link to it down in the description. Just make sure you print it or have it on your phone when you're out flying at night. The sun just set and all the lights in the city are starting to turn on, so let's get to it. First step, we're gonna start with the DJI Mavic Air 2. Everything in this example was shot at 4K resolution, 24 frames per second, with the fixed aperture of f2.8. Starting with ISO 100, and you can see that it's obviously very dark. Same goes for ISO 200, not much of a difference. Moving on to ISO 400, you can just start to see a little bit of the city. And then ISO 800 is actually starting to look pretty good, but still really dark. Next up, we go to ISO 1600, and it's actually starting to get a bit brighter and look pretty decent, but still a little bit darker than I would like. ISO 3200 is a little bit better, but it's still a little bit darker than I would like for a nighttime shot. And then there's ISO 6400, which is quite a bit brighter, but the noise really starts to show up in the image and it pretty much makes it unusable as far as I'm concerned. Now we're gonna switch over to the Air 2S with the one inch sensor, and we're gonna skip through some of these lower ISOs pretty fast. ISO 100, 200, 400, 800 are all considerably dark. ISO 1600 is looking better and would even possibly be usable if you were filming somewhere that was lit well and the drone was a little bit lower. But I find it's not till you hit ISO 3200 with the Air 2S that the one inch sensor really starts to shine and show a good amount of a difference in the image. Looking at the Air 2S and the Mavic Air 2 side by side at ISO 3200, you can clearly see there's a major difference in the brightness of the image. The Air 2S on the left is considerably brighter than the Mavic Air 2 on the right. But also, you'll notice that the image on the Air 2S on the left is a lot cleaner. The Mavic Air 2 just really struggles once you get up to the 3200 ISO and has a, a good amount of noise in the image. Next up, we have the max ISO of 6400 on the Air 2S. And as much as I really like how bright the image looks for such a low light scene, I don't think I could really use something like this in a professional setting unless I applied a good amount of denoising in post. Here's that same shot from the Air 2S, but with the 100% crop, and you can really see just how bad the noise is at the higher ISO of 6400. And here's the Mavic Air 2 shot with 100% crop at the same ISO of 6400. A quick side-by-side -side comparison, and I'd say that the Mavic Air 2 looks slightly better at the max ISO of 6400 than the Air 2S shot, but that's just because the image is a little bit darker and it tends to hide a little bit more of the noise. If you were to do any type of color correction or exposure adjustments, you would definitely bring out more of that noise and notice that the image is pretty much unusable. I definitely wouldn't recommend shooting at that high of an ISO with either one of these drones. Hope everyone's enjoying this video. If you'd like to help support my channel, hit the thumbs up button down below, leave a comment, and subscribe if you're interested in seeing more videos like this in the future. Now let's get back to the video. I chose this next location because of the bright sign in the middle of the road and all the ambient light from the parking lots and street lights. Also, I wanted to get some shots where the drone was a bit lower and closer to some subjects. Let's get through some of these lower ISOs. ISO 100, 200, 400, 
and you can see here the 800 on the air 2s is already looking pretty usable it looks really nice compared to how dark the image looks on the mavic air 2. now we're going to look at the higher isos starting with 1600. you'll notice that the image on the air 2s is nice and bright and has very little noise in it and on the right you'll see that the mavic air 2 image at 1600 is still pretty dark You'll notice that the image on the left is a lot brighter and just looks really good compared to the darker Mavic Air 2 shot on the right. Plus you'll also notice that the Air 2S does a lot better of a job exposing the bright highlights on the sign as to where the camera on the Mavic Air 2 overexposes the sign. Finally, we have ISO 6400, which is just really too noisy to use unless you have a little bit of time to spend in post-production and try to denoise the image and clean it up a bit. In this side-by-side -side comparison, you can see that the Air 2S at ISO 1600 looks really similar to what the image straight out of camera from the Mavic Air 2 looks like at the higher ISO of 6400, which is really surprising how much better the 1-inch sensor on the Air 2S is compared to the Mavic Air 2. For this final shot, I wanted to get both of the drones a little bit lower and closer to the sign. That way you would get a really good idea of how much better the dynamic range on the Air 2S with the 1 inch sensor is over the Mavic Air 2. You can really clearly see that the sensor on the Air 2S does a great job at retaining the highlights, even at the highest ISO of 6400, as to where the Mavic Air 2 really starts to lose the highlights and overexpose the image at ISOs as low as 800 and 1600. I think I'm going to have to say that the Air 2S is definitely hands down the winner of this low light test. That 1 inch sensor really shines compared to the old sensor on the Mavic Air 2. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to check back soon as I'll be uploading another video where I do a comparison of the Air 2S versus the Phantom 4 Pro. Thanks for watching.